So for today's episode, right, um, we are actually going back to the Coral Spotlight. So recently I've been to um, Supreme Corals um, back in S5. So if you guys have seen, I've done actually a lot of different videos on different coral cares and coral um, spotlight videos, right? So today we are actually going to talk to you guys about a very special coral. I wouldn't say it's a coral. Um, this is more invert than a coral, but then it's one of a highly sought after um, item to have in the reef. So without further ado, right, let's start today's video with um, this week's coral spotlight. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier before, right, the coral that we are talking about today is not really a coral. Um, it's more of an invert than a coral, but it's something that most people will have in their reef tanks, um, which is the anemone. But however, we are not going to talk to you guys about the rose flower tip, the magnificent anemone, but today's topic, right, we are going to talk to you guys about the carpet anemone, the largest um, anemone that you guys can have in a reef tank. Um, the gigantes can grow up to more than one feet plus. Um, and recently, um, Supreme Corals actually bought in a very nice, stunning collection of um, carpet anemones. So without further ado, right, let me show you a couple of different anemones and how is the care like to actually take care of a carpet anemone. Okay, so for anemones wise, um, we are talking about the carpet anemone. Um, carpet anemones is very different from your rose bubble tips. Um, rose bubble tip is by far one of a anemone that we highly recommend for, for beginner coral, um, for beginner keepers all the way to expert keepers. Um, if you can do rose bubble tip well, um, these guys somehow will become a pest but they are really nice um, to look at because um, anemones are flowy, they are bright, they are red, and they give a lot of colors to your reef tank. And the cool thing about rose bubble tip is they do host clownfish. So um, to see that symbiotic relationship there, it's really interesting to get a bubble tip anemone. But however, um, today we're actually going to talk to you guys about the um, carpet anemones. Carpet anemones is a bit... Um, I would say in a cold site that is not very very popular due to because um, carpet anemones has a very bad um, reputation when it comes to their stinging cells and the size of the anemone. So first up let's talk about um, why are they not really recommended for most reefers. The number one thing about carpet anemones right, is their sting. It's way stronger compared to any of the other anemones in the other family. So chances are if you have any of your fish that goes really near them, I would say that that fish has gone definitely. Um, I've seen before my huge um, red carpet anemone took down a clown tank. It didn't really eat it though, okay, it, it actually swallowed the whole clown tank in, but then because it was too big for the anemone, it actually spit it out. But However, I still lose the clown tank just because the clown, the clown tank came too close to the anemone. Um, so next thing is why don't people do carpet anemones is because um, aside from the stinging cells, right, um, carpets are huge. Um, we are talking about the Hadonis, the Gigantes, um, these guys can get up to about a dinner plate size, which is huge for an anemone. Um, which if you don't really have a very big tank, right, um, yeah, chances are if you're going to put them in a very small tank, these guys will just overrun everything and it will sting anything that is around it so that's why that if you don't really have a tank that is huge um, chances are you would not want to go for a carpet anemone so this is like one of the two big main factors on why don't people keep anemones um, why don't people keep carpet anemones so let's talk about a good side about the carpet anemones and why um, I do recommend them and what are the tanks that I do recommend them for so first up let's talk about care level um, Carpet anemones, they are not as easy to take care as your rose bubble tip. These guys are pretty much sensitive in terms of water parameters, even when it comes to lighting. 
of yeah a little bit if your water is too new your water is too much of a fluctuation chances are your carpet anemone will not do well um, secondly it's um, lighting wise carpet anemones um, they do require very high light um, they don't really like place that is too shady they are usually found very shallow in the ocean um, and they do have times where they are even exposed out um, when it's low tide so these guys are very tolerant to high light so yeah and the worst thing is that when they move right they will really stumble every other coral so that's like why it's not highly recommended but however wise um care level it's challenging but if you have a very successful reef tank um, you have a very stable large reef tank um, the carpet anemone it's uh, one thing that you should get for your tank one of the recommendations that I will give to people right, is people with a full SPS tank. Um, if you have a full SPS tank um, and you don't have anything at the bottom, right, uh, chances are you should go for a carpet anemone. Reason being so, most of your SPS tanks, um, your SPS corals are being placed quite high up and you will either be having a bare bottom or you will have um, very minimal substrate um, with not much corals to add at the bottom area because everything is so high in light demanding so this gives you a lot of space at your bottom area which is really suitable for um, putting a carpet anemone there um, and they do have um, requirements the same as very similar to SPS corals um, these guys prefer high light high flow so if you are doing it for SPS well um, chances are you are doing it for your carpet anemone well so and in terms of SPS um, caretaking wise uh, water parameter is very particular so if you can do your water well for SPS right chances are you can actually do well for the carpet anemone as well so in terms of color wise um, the carpet anemone has a lot of different colors you have the greens the reds the blues all the way to the rainbow price wise is um, crazy though um, your greens can be really cheap um, your reds can go up to about 800 to about 1000 the rainbows can go about more than a thousand dollars for one um, yeah so it really depends on your price pocket wise um, which will you recommend for um, aside from that if you want to I would say that the red um, Hadonis is like by far one of my favorites um, I used to have one as well just that because I don't have a big tank for it right now so I decided to forego it but aside from that anemone the carpets are fun to keep um, fun to watch and they do bring a lot of colors into your reef tank so i'll just end today's um coral spotlight video um big thanks to supreme corals for letting us film all different um carpet anemones out there same thing if you like all the videos that we have put up for you guys um we are hitting about 1.7 subscribers now hit that subscribe button below like share it out and if you want to see more of such videos um, leave a comment down below and same thing i will see you guys soon next week